And I'm going to keep saying it. I'm going to keep saying that Leah Thomas is a dude. And I'll say it here. And I'll say it on social media. And I'll say it on the streets. And if they dare try to stop me, that's what the First Amendment is all about. And we're going to stand up and defend that. And we're going to stand up and defend normalcy. We had accusations that, oh, this is all made up. We actually had somebody in one of the hearings today in which we were talking about transgender uh, issues and so-called uh, you know, dysphoria. We had a young lady who I could barely speak after I heard her testimony. I could barely figure out what to say to her because she had started to be transitioned, changed sex, realized that she was going to lose the ability as a woman to breastfeed her hopefully one day children, and she stopped. And she was testifying today about the horrors of the pressure being placed upon her to change her sex. And she broke down in tears. And then she was talking about one of the other witnesses at the table, a mom that was talking about her child, the Democratic witness, and saying how important it was to be able to have the transition. And here's what our witness, Chloe Cole, said. Quote, I understand that Mrs. Reynolds is scared for her child. And I just want to set the record straight that I don't hate her. I don't think anyone in this room hates her. In fact, she said, as she began to cry, and as all of us, by the way, on the dais were holding back tears, I see my own mother and my own father in her. And that clearly she dearly loves her child. And she's doing the best with that she's been given. And unfortunately, it's not much. And for that, I'm sorry. She remained emotional. She continued. She said, I think every parent deserves the utmost grace and guidance with how to help their child. I don't wish for her child to have the same result as I did, she said. I don't wish for anyone to regret transition or detransition because it's incredibly difficult. It comes with its own difficulties, and it's not easy. My colleagues on the other side of the aisle call that hate speech. <laughs> 